Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and often deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment to moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls here on the bright side. Our number's 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products, something you may have heard about, read about, skincare, formulations, ingredients, a health challenge, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number today and every day on the bright side. If you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And if you want to talk to a real live human being, you can call 866-735-2470. That's the phone number for the Brightside Ben phone team, 866-735-2470. And if you're interested in purchasing any of my truth treatment products, retinol 5% gel, omega-6 healing cream, or our truth serum or truth balm, both loaded, packed with fat-soluble vitamin C, no preservatives, no surfactants or emulsifiers, nothing irritating, no fragrances, nothing your skin doesn't need, everything your skin does need, all active and functional ingredients always in my Truth Treatment products. And you can head over to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, and check those out. All right, so we have been talking about the skin, and we will be talking about the skin. There's so much to talk about, skin care. Everybody seems fascinated about the skin. People spend billions billions of dollars in this country and many, many billions of dollars around the world on moisturizers and anti-wrinkle products and acne products and products that purport to lighten the skin. We have been talking about pigmentation for the last few weeks, skin pigmentation. In order to understand hyperpigmentation and melasma, in order to understand how to resolve it or what it is even, we got to make a distinction and one that we don't often make and one that we don't make uh, that we suffer from at least our wallets suffer from, and our skin suffers from, not making this distinction. It's a distinction we're not encouraged to make by so-called skincare experts, by commercials, by marketing. And that is the distinction between the layers of the skin as well as a distinction between the components of the skin and the substructures of the skin, between the layers of the skin and the components and substructures of the skin. The most important distinction, the one we're gonna be emphasizing, is the distinction between the bottom of the skin and the top of the skin. To put it simply, if you're a scientist or a researcher or a physician or a dermatologist or skincare professional, you'll call it the epidermis and the dermis. And within the epidermis, there's multiple layers. And we're not going to get into that too much. We're just going to call it two different layers, two distinct layers in the skin. That's really all you need to know. There may be a third, but we'll get into that later. So for now, we'll just talk about two layers of the skin, the epidermis and the dermis. The bottom layer is called the dermis, the top layer is called the epidermis. And the major difference between these two strata, these two layers, is the thickness. The dermis 
is the bulk of your skin, the stuff underneath the surface. That's where all the connective tissue is. 90% of the skin is underneath. We don't see it. It's kind of like those pictures of the iceberg, of an iceberg that you sometimes see, where the tip of the iceberg is on the surface of the ocean and the vast majority of the iceberg is underneath where you can't see it. Likewise in the skin, the vast majority of the skin, the dermis, is where you can't, where you can't see it. I call it the beef. This is where the support structure for the skin is, the collagen and the other fibers that form the framework or the scaffolding that the skin, the surface of the skin sits in. So you've got the scaffolding or this framework underneath, and then you got the surface of the skin on the top. The surface on the skin, the stuff on the top, is kind of like a sheet. It, it's a covering. So you've got the dermis on the bottom, you've got a covering on the top, and the covering is where the softness and much of the textural properties of the skin are, as well as where the coloring is. That's where the pigmentation occurs. The pigmentation, the softness, the smoothness, the textural properties, that's all on the surface of the skin. And this is where the vast majority of topical products and ingredients do their work. So if you're expecting to rub some stuff on the surface, to rub some stuff on the epidermis, the surface of the skin, and, and then to be able to somehow affect or create changes in the dermis, in the collagen where the wrinkles are, you are going to be disappointed. And this is the, one of the great failures of skincare. And it's kind of sneaky too, because nobody really tells us this. We're under the illusion, most people are under the illusion, you can rub something on the surface and affect the collagen and the dermis underneath. And for the most part, this is not true. And making this distinction or not making this distinction is one of the reasons we spend so much money on topical products that do not and cannot do what we want them to do. If you got wrinkles or if you want to prevent wrinkles or if you want to prevent fine lines, you want to prevent structural changes or reverse structural changes, in the skin, you've got to get down in the dermis, and you need three elements in your skincare product. For one, you need vitamins, and there's only two of those. We'll tell you what those are in a second. We've been talking about them for a few weeks now, actually a few months. The second, you need something to stimulate things, and third, you need a penetration enhancer. Those are the three elements that you're going to need in your skincare product if you want to affect wrinkles, if you want to get down in the dermis. You need vitamins, you need some kind of accelerator or in a, a, a metabolic enhancer, something that will speed up chemistry, and then you need penetration enhancers. The vitamins that can affect the dermis, there's only two. It's vitamin A and vitamin C. We've been talking about them forever, really. And we'll probably continue to talk about them in the world of skincare. If you want to get into the dermis, if you want to get into a wrinkles form, if you want to reverse wrinkles or prevent wrinkles, vitamin A and vitamin C are the two major and probably the two only ingredients that you need and the two only ingredients that work. This is why I feature them in my truth treatment products. There's a couple peptides that may have a, an effect, but that's pretty much it. There's one peptide called Matrixyl that has some effects. There's another one called Kinerase or Kinetin that may have some effects. But for the most part, the vast majority of skin effects are going to be accomplished, achieved, or dermal effects, anti-wrinkle effects, are going to be achieved with vitamin A and vitamin C. And if you're not using retinol and you're not using fat-soluble vitamin C and you're not using retinol in a high concentration and you're not using uh, fat-soluble vitamin C in a high concentration, you are missing the boat on anti-aging skin care. Now we're going to be talking hyperpigmentation and melasma and pigment issues here in a bit because vitamin A and vitamin C are so tremendously multifunctional. Not only are they important for anti-wrinkles and for stimulating the production of anti-wrinkle fibers and for smoothing your skin out from a wrinkle standpoint and a fine line standpoint, but they're also wonderful for lightening the skin. And we'll talk about these in a little bit. The only stimulators, metabolic stimulators, chemistry stimulators, things that turn on or, or stimulate or enhance or amplify chemistry in the cells of the dermis are the alpha hydroxy acids. Now we haven't talked a, a lot about alpha hydroxy acids, although we mentioned them, we will be talking a lot about them. The main ones are glycolic and lactic acid, you've probably heard of those. And then the third important element in an anti-aging skincare product is going to be penetration enhancers. Vitamin A and vitamin C will penetrate to a certain extent, especially vitamin A, but if you have penetration enhancers, you're really going to get good penetration. Look for the word palmitate on your vitamin A or vitamin C, or look for the word palmitate somewhere in the ingredient deck. 
and that will tell you that your ingredients, your active ingredients, are going to have better penetration. Look for the word palmitate. We'll talk about that when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back after this. Welcome back to The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, and 24-7 on our archive page at brightsideben.com. If you miss a program, they are all up archived at brightsideben.com. Four plus years of archives. Uh, brightsideben.com, also benfuchsarchives.com, and they're both searchable. If you miss a program or you want to review a certain topic, you can go to benfuchsarchives.com or brightsideben.com. Of course, if you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can buy them right off the websites, or you can go to uh, pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call the phone team, 866-735-2470. Make sure you ask about the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, my personal favorite longevity product. Multiple vitamins. It's a multiple vitamin powder that you add to water and drink. Sip on it all day long to replace your electrolytes, your B vitamins, your potassium and calcium and magnesium and vitamin C. And it's got phytonutrients as well as plant-derived minerals. Most folks will notice results, lower blood pressure, appetite suppression, weight loss, more energy. Most folks will notice results within less than two or three days. If you're interested in purchasing any of our Truth Treatment products, retinol 5% gel or any of the topical vitamin C products, you can go to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. We had an article, uh, Truth, The Truth was featured in Harper's Bazaar this month. They interviewed me, uh, got a couple quotes in a Harper's Bazaar's fashion issue that uh, came, out yes, or came out Saturday, and there's also a nice picture of our Truth Serum in uh, the September issue of Harper's Bazaar. Okay, so we're talking, uh, we're talking hydroxy acids and vitamins and skin lightening and anti-wrinkle. If you're interested in preventing or reversing the formation of wrinkles, you need three elements in your skincare product, topical vitamins especially, or only pretty much, vitamins A and C. You need something to jack up or stimulate the metabolism of skin cells, dermis cells. They're called fibroblasts. They make fibers. Alpha hydroxy acids are your go-to stimulating topicals. And we'll talk about that here in a sec. And then you have uh, penetrating aids, which tend to be fatty substances, especially substances that have the word palmitate. Look for palmitate in your ingredient deck, and you'll know you get some enhancement of the active materials. Of course, you've got to have the active materials, vitamins A and vitamin C there, and you're not going to really find those ingredients in very many skincare products. And there's a lot of reasons for that. For one thing, they're expensive. Vitamin C is cheap, or, or there is a cheap form of vitamin C, but that's not going to do you much good. There's so much scammery in the skincare business. I mean, we could do a show just on the baloney, just on the crapola that's out in the world of skincare, intentional and unintentional. Now, uh, Unintentional skincare, just based on ignorance, you know, that's bad enough when somebody pretends to be a skincare expert and starts to spew out silliness. But when it's intentional, man, that's just not right. One of the, one of the most egregious examples of skincare ripoffs is using ascorbic acid in a skincare product. Ascorbic acid is the cheapo form of vitamin C. It's incredibly unstable. It destabilizes almost in front of your eyes. It turns brown. And uh, there's actually a product that's an ascorbic acid product that goes for a ridiculous amount of money, $120 an ounce, something like that. I don't even want to mention their name. It turns brown right in the bottle, right in the bottle. And the people selling the products, they don't worry about it turning brown. Yes, worry about turning brown because you're wasting your money if you use a brown vitamin C or a browning vitamin C. Ascorbic acid is cheapo vitamin C. If you see it in a skincare product, you've got a company that doesn't know what they're doing or they're intentionally ripping you off, one or the other. I'm not sure which is better. If you see ascorbic acid in a skincare product, that's a company that doesn't know what they're doing or they don't care what they're doing, period. You can quote me on that. If you see ascorbic acid in with a water lotiony cream, that's a company you want to stay away from. As far as stimulators go, the most effective ones are alpha hydroxy acids. We call them glycolic acid and lactic acid and citric acid. There's a bunch of them. Acetic acid, malic acid. They're in vinegar. They're in wine. They're in lemon juice, lime, citrus products, fruits, vegetables, milk, honey. All of these contain these alpha hydroxy acids. Take a milk bath. Cleopatra used to do that. Or wash your face with milk. Do you know if you wash your face with milk, you'll get the benefit of the alpha hydroxy acids, plus you'll get all the protein that can act as a moisturizer? Washing your face with milk, how do you like that? That's probably one of the best uses of cow's milk, homogenized cow's milk anyway, is as a face wash. 
you can put a little milk on your milk and honey. Check that out. You can put a little honey and a little milk on a cotton puff, on a, a cosmetic puff, and you can actually get rid of your makeup with it. And you'll get all the moisturizing benefits and anti-aging benefits of the uh, lactic acid in the, uh, in the milk and also the, the enzymes and the vitamins and the alpha hydroxy acids in the honey as well. Don't put too much honey in there. It's kind of sticky. All right, so let's see what else. Moisturization, that's on the surface of the skin. Skin dryness, that's on the surface of the skin. Skin roughness, that's on the surface of the skin. That's on the epidermis. Pimples, eczema, these are on the, uh, on the epidermis. Now, obviously, the epidermis, this is an area that's much easier to access than the dermis. As long as all you're trying to do is soften the skin or maybe put a little bit of, stimulate some moisture factors in the skin, patch up eczema maybe. If you want to address pimples, at least the garden variety pimples, uh, whiteheads and blackheads, that's all epidermal phenomena. Same with skin oiliness and hyperpigmentation. These are all on the surface of the skin. Wrinkles is in the dermis, in the lower levels of the skin. Pimples, oiliness, hyperpigmentation, moisturization, eczema, these are on the epidermis part of the skin. We'll be talking a lot about topical strategies for hyperpigmentation, things you can apply to, to, keep, uh, to keep your skin tone even. However, as a healthcare professional, I'm a skincare professional and a healthcare professional. I've been in the skincare business for 32 years. I started formulating skincare products in 1982. I can't even believe I'm saying that. And I've been a healthcare professional, a, pharmacy, uh, a pharmacist since 1986, and a pharmacy student since 1983. So I'm a skincare professional and as a healthcare professional, I gotta tell you, in addition to being a skin surface issue, and even more fundamentally than being a skin surface issue, melasma or hyperpigmentation is an internal condition. It is a biochemical issue of the blood like every other health issue is. It's a biochemical issue of the organs and the glands like every health issue is. Hyperpigmentation, melasma, dark spots. These are not merely cosmetic. These are not merely epidermal. These are not merely superficial in skin. And this is so, so important. If you are pigmenting inappropriately, it is a major sign of a healthcare issue as to the extent that you're hyperpigmenting that needs to be addressed. It's not a cosmetic issue. It's an internal issue. This is why it's such a mistake to consider only the beauty aspect of the skin. Yes, it's true. We look at each other, we make assessments based on our skin. And yes, it's true that some skin conditions can just be uncomfortable, plain old discomfort. And there's times we want the itching and the irritation and the discomfort to go away. And there's products you can use to make the itching go away. You can use cortisol. You can use Benadryl cream. You can use coconut oil. You can use waxy moisturizers. All of these are going to soothe the skin to a certain extent. But when skincare companies promote the idea through marketing, through commercials, they encourage us to believe that ingredients that will lighten the skin, that you can rub something on the skin and have your skin lighten or make your eye bags disappear without emphasizing or at least reminding us that there might be a circulatory issue, a heart issue, a lymphatic issue, a liver issue, a digestive issue, or an adrenal issue that could end up shortening our lives. When we're encouraged to believe that we, all we got to do is rub a cream on under our eyes and our eye bags will disappear without being told that this could be a serious heart or circulatory or lymph or liver issue, well, that's just not fair. All right? That's not fair. The skin is much more than a canvas or, an adorn, uh, uh, or a sheet for adornment or for decoration. It's a fully fledged organ of the body that reflects what's happening inside. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back after this. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. <clears throat> Excuse me. 844-236-6010 is our number. And we do have a couple lines open for you. Hang tight. If you're on hold, we'll get to you in just a moment. If you're interested in purchasing any of our truth treatment products, Check out truthtreatments.com if you want a nice way to lighten the skin topically, although it is an internal condition primarily. You can do things topically to lighten the skin. You want to use retinol. Check out our retinol 5%. Not only will it help lighten the skin, but if you've got blemishes, it'll help improve the healing of pimples and blemishes. It'll also, of course, work underneath at the dermis level to stimulate the production of collagen. Retinol is super duper multifunctional, and I am all about multifunctional in, ter in terms of internal nutritional supplements as well as topical. You can find out, all the tr uh, find out about all the truth 
treatment products at truthtreatments.com. If you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products, you can go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And if you want to purchase the Bergamax for erectile dysfunction or metabolic syndrome, diabetes, high blood pressure, liver disease, lots of great literature on bergamot for liver disease, go to brightsidehealthproducts.com. You can also find a little surprise there. We got another interesting a set of products up at brightsidehealthproducts.com that we're going to be talking about here in the future. Uh, you, can, you can find out all about it at brightsidehealthproducts.com. Okay, if you're dealing with hyperpigmentation issues, yes, you can use retinol. Yes, you can use vitamin C. Yes, you can use alpha hydroxy acids. All of these will lighten the skin. What you don't want to use are the prescriptions, specifically something called hydroquinone, which is super duper nasty. You know, back in the days before we had an FDA or was the FDA was, uh, when the FDA was in its early, early days, there used to be a, a skin, skin lightening products. Apparently, people wanted to have their skin lightened even back in the 1910s and 1920s. Even as early as the late 19th century, the middle of the 1800s, skin lightening was a big idea. People wanted to have light skin. Well, they wanted to have light skin so badly that they would actually use a deadly toxin on their skin. And even today, the FDA warns, is warning people about using skin lightening products that come from Asia because of this nasty toxin that lightens the skin, absolutely lightens the skin, but also causes serious, serious health issues. We'll tell you about that tomorrow as we continue talking skin lightening, topical strategies, as well as internal strategies for melasma and hyperpigmentation on the bright side. Okay, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. What's going on, Phyllis in Texas? Welcome to the bright side. Uh, yes, it's great being on your show, Ben. Thank you, Phyllis. What's cooking? Um, Okay, I'm calling about a 63-year-old man, and okay. he uh, had surgery to clean out the uh, carotid artery in his neck. Okay. And they also cleaned out the veins in his left leg and in okay. his right leg. How old did, did, you, did you say he was 63? Yes. Oh, that's terrible. That's young. Doesn't yes. 63 sound young? Didn't used uh, to sound young. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds young these days, doesn't it? Yes, yes. <laughs> I think that's Definitely. more about us than anybody else. But anyway, mm -hmm. you know the okay. life expectancy at the turn of the 20th century is 47. People die wow. when they were 47. Is that amazing? Mm -hmm. Now, yes, of course, you have to factor. You got to factor in infant mortality and all that. But still, can you imagine life expe ex only expecting to live 47 years? Yeah. Isn't that yeah, amazing? that's amazing. Our life, my life would have been over a long time ago. <laughs> right, mine as well. So, uh, uh, poor, poor gentleman, sixty-three years old these days is very young. Right. You should have a good forty right. years to go. You know, you right. should, yeah. after after sixty-three. I don't know if this guy will have it because uh, if he's already having his carotid arteries being cleansed, that tells right. me the plaque and gook is starting to form up. Remember the only disease, the only disease. We've got twelve thousand eight hundred different diseases, but it's all about dirty blood. Does that, have you heard me say that before, Phyllis? It's all, all yeah. about dirty blood. Everything is about dirty blood. And yeah, you can go have a, a mechanical artery clearing procedure if you like. You can have the plaque cleaned out mechanically, but doesn't it make more sense not to, not to put the crap in the system? How does the blood get dirty? Is it, is it, is it pixie dust that gets sprinkled on us from, from the sky? No. Okay. Is he an IV drug user? Probably not. So no. how can the blood be dirty? It gets dirty from food and from drink. Alcohol, sugar, and the stuff we're eating. So I'm not Mr. I've said this before. I'm not Mr. Health Diet Guy. I'll eat pizza and Twizzlers and Snickers bars if I'm hungry. So I'm not preaching to anybody about how we eat. It's nobody's business to preach about how we eat. And it's very offensive for somebody to tell you what to eat and what not to eat, I think. Just my opinion. But right. if you have a health issue, if you have a health crisis, the fact that food is so important and the digestive system is so relevant when it comes to how we break down, this is such good news because it emancipates us. It liberates us from the doctor. It frees us from the medical model, which will mechanically clean our arteries out because it can get billed, it can bill us for it. It can mm -hmm. charge for it. Yeah. You know, those machines that clean out the arteries, they're expensive. Mm -hmm. You know, and the doctor has bills to pay. So yeah. he's interested 
in cleaning out your blood mechanically because he makes a living that way. But I'm telling you, if you want to keep your blood clean, the first thing and pretty much the only thing you got to do is focus on what you're putting into the blood through the digestive system. Now, if you're an IV drug user and sticking stuff in right through your skin, right into the blood, that's of course has to be addressed, you know, but talking for most people, it's going to be sugar and food. Now, it's a, a whole thing is compounded by oxygen because oxygen also acts to clean the blood and lack of oxygen can cause a clumping up and a coagulation of the particles and the proteins inside the blood and the cells inside the blood. So breathing is also important, but none of this requires a doctor. So first of all, for your friend, he has to get, he has to, get to the bottom of whatever his digestive health crises are and they've got to be there if he's got the plaques. Uh, so digestive strategies, food diary, eliminate problem foods, fasting, biolumin nightly essence, three capsules in the morning, three capsules at night, fucoid Z, which acts to thin the blood, clean the blood, and protect the digestive system. Three fucoid Z in the morning, three fucoid Z at night. Healthy start pack, that goes without saying. And you want to start working on sugar because sugar is a blood toxin. Sugar is a blood toxin poison. Sugar makes the blood dirty, among other things. Sugar's got all kinds of horrible things it does to the circulatory system, but suffice it to say, it'll cause the blood to become dirty. So if he's got plaques, carotid plaques that are severe enough that he needs to have a surgical procedure, this is a guy who should have as close to zero tolerance for sugar as possible. Again, I'm not beating anybody up for their food choices, but I'm just saying if his biochemistry is that tweaked that he needs to have a surgical procedure to clean out the blood, this is a guy who has to have as close to zero tolerance for bread and pasta and potatoes and rice and, and sugar and desserts and fruits and fruit juices as possible. Also, using nutrients that help him process sugar will be helpful. The Sweeties is tremendous. The Osteomag, uh, uh, OsteoFX, I should say, with the magnesium, that's tremendous. The B vitamins and vitamin C, which you'll get in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, very important for helping stabilize blood sugar, the amino acid taurine, the amino acid arginine. Oh, by the way, all the nutrients that help you process sugar are also important for cleaning the blood. So they'll help the body process sugar on their own, just as a, a, an anti-sugaring supplement, the B vitamins, chromium, vanadium, the electrolytes, taurine, arginine, but they'll also help him with his circulation. And then have him sitting on the couch and practicing his slow, deep breathing. Guarantee, 100% guarantee, if he does everything I just told you from the food diary, eliminating problem foods, using the digestive system supplements, uh, digestive enzymes, by the way, I forgot to mention those, and apple cider vinegar, controlling his blood sugar, stable Stabilizing the breathing or using deep breathing techniques, guaranteed he's going to notice dramatic effects in his circulatory system. Thanks for your call, Phyllis. Appreciate it. And God bless you. Good luck with your friend. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Okay, from the journal Brain Injury, drugs used to treat common complaints could delay the recovery of brain injury patients, according to research led by the University of East Anglia, UEA, scientists working with other uh, universe, uh, United Kingdom, UK universities, published research that showed that so-called anticholinergic drugs can have brain, pro can, uh, uh, can cause brain problems, including failure or slowing down of recovery. Uh, of brain from brain injury it can also be associated with memory problems, dementia, confusion. These are drugs that are used for cough and colds. Benadryl is the most famous of these drugs, but there's a whole list of these anticholinergic drugs, which include antidepressants, drugs that are used to treat insomnia, as well as drugs that are used to treat incontinence and other bladder problems. These kinds of drugs have been shown to cause brain issues, especially in folks, in older folks or folks who are already pre predisposed to dementias or brain problems. Be careful of that Benadryl, as effective as it is for itching and for rashes and for drying you up. In fact, anything that dries you up is going to be a problem for the brain. Drying up secretions such as anti, uh, uh, which is what occurs when you take antihistamines, drying up secretions is a function of uh, anti cholinergic medication and these medications can also cause problems with the brain mental health problems okay 844-236-6010 is our number let's go to steve in texas welcome to the bright side steve what's going on hey ben uh, hey. i have a question kind of related to what you're talking about for skincare but really for internal use uh, the ester c and the regular mm -hmm. 
vitamin C and maybe some why they put rose hips in, in some brands. Okay, and, that's a great question. You want just a little clarification, or you got something specific? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's okay. it. I'm using right. Ester C. Didn't know if I should be using it or or the, the difference. The difference. Internal vitamin C is going to be different from topical vitamin C. I spent about I spent some time earlier in the program ripping on ascorbic acid in terms mm -hmm. of skincare, but internally, ascorbic acid is how the body uses vitamin C. Sometimes you'll hear alternative practitioners. There's one guy from England, I forgot his name, but he's going around telling people that ascorbic acid is cheap and it doesn't work, blah, blah, blah. That's not true. Cells use ascorbic acid. Specifically, they use the non-acid form. It's called ascorbate, but for our intent, all intents and purposes, it is ascorbic acid. And ascorbic acid is what the cell uses. Now, bioflavonoids, and we talked about those last Friday with Cell and Barr about the bergamot bioflavonoids, or just flavonoids, if you like, uh, such as the kind that are found in rose hips. And this is why you'll sometimes see rose hips with your vitamin C. These flavonoids enhance the effects of vitamin okay. C. And this is why natural foods are always the way to go when it comes to getting your Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients, your vitamins and your minerals and your electrolytes, etc. You always want to go with natural foods. I hate that I have to supplement because in natural foods you have these cofactors that help the, the micronutrients, the vitamins and minerals and such work better. So in natural foods, when you find ascorbic acid, you'll also find flavonoids like rosehip. And the rosehip vitamin C is much more effective because it has enhanced, uh, uh, the vitamin C is enhanced, if you will, by the other factors in the rosehips. Does that make sense? The flavonoids yeah. in the rosehips. Yeah. So natural foods are always the way to go. The problem is you don't get enough vitamin C. You know, you're going to get a trace amount of vitamin C. The richest, nature's richest sources of vitamin C will give you like 400 milligrams per four ounces. So you'd have to eat a lot of kiwi and a lot of uh, uh, cantaloupe and a lot of chili peppers. And by the way, chili peppers are nature's richest source of vitamin C. You got to eat a lot of that stuff to get the vitamin C you need. So yes, food is great because you get these cofactors and natural sources and food-based vitamins are always the best, but you don't, just don't get the quantities that you need. Aside from the fact, now you got all the problems with the soil and problems with how plants are grown, etc. Do you know today, today's plants have been genetically modified to have less of those cofactors, those flavonoids in them, than other cofactors? Why do you suppose they've been weeded out, no pun intended, they've been genetically modified out of fruits and vegetables? So now today's fruits have less carotenes, less flavonoids, less cofactors in them. You know why? Because they're bitter. And so uh, food manufacturers and food processors know people don't eat bitter, so they've been genetically bred to have less of these powerful medicines and more sweetener, more sugar in them. So there's big problems associated with natural foods. Uh, and it's unfortunate because we should be able to get all the nutrients that we need from foods. Long story short, inside the body, go with ascorbic acid. Ester C is a little bit, is a little bit better. It's just expensive. But yeah, Ester C is minerals with your vitamin C. Magnesium, potassium, zinc, calcium, all are attached. They're esterified is the technical term. They're esterized with the vitamin C, hence the term ester C. Topically, you got to go fat soluble, ascorbyl palmitate or ascorbyl tetraisopalmitate. Does that help? Oh, perfect. Okay, good perfect. deal. Thanks so much. All right, take care, man. Okay, let's see. Let's go to Mary. Oh, my God, Mary's been holding on forever. What's up, Mary? How you doing? Hi, Ben. Uh this applies to my question, I think, if you know who I am. I'm your friend. That um, From Oregon. Is, yeah, okay, great. So Hi, you know Mary. who I am. I know who you are. Uh, you may not know that I am a person that am not is not back 100% because I am allergic to all foods. I know that means the proteins in the foods. Uh, and I know from you what to do. And okay. uh, now that I'm able to fast and... Uh, I know a major problem with me is deep breathing because okay. uh, I forget to breathe. I can tell by how you're talking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so I know how to heal. Okay, so now you know I also have a terrible, I'm, I'm not 100% back. So this is my question. For someone like me, yes. um, within the bone soup, when the bones get really, really soft, do you want me chewing those and eating them up, or should I wait That'd until be awesome. I'm Yes, that'd be awesome if you can. Make sure it's organic, though. Make sure there's no, because a lot of the crap that, that animals eat get deposit, gets deposited in the bones. So you want to be very careful with the animals, that, the bones that you're eating. But if you're going to do bone soup, yeah, all the good stuff is in the bone. The marrow and the, and the uh, cartilage, that's the good stuff. Yeah, soft, when the bone gets soft, absolutely you could eat the bone. 
Yeah, I know that's one way to heal myself. That's a great way to heal yourself. That's a great way to make sure it's a good animal, like a you know organic and no antibiotics and no hormones and all that stuff. All right. Yes. Okay, Mary. Good luck with everything. God bless you. Thank you. Take care. Oh, Mary. Hey. Yeah. Mary. Do we saw Mary? Mary there. Yeah, I'm still here. Hey, talk from your belly when you're talking. It'll help you breathe. Talk from your belly like that. Throw it like a singer. You know, there's all these books on for singers on how to breathe. You know, breathe like a singer. Singers are people who sing vocalists. They're always uh, breathing. They're always taught anyway to breathe from the diaphragm. That's where you want to breathe from. And you can always tell by somebody's breathing from the diaphragm by how they talk. Nice, rich sound to the voice is when you're breathing from the diaphragm. Higher pitch tends to be up in the throat area, in the upper part of the chest. All right, Mary? All right. Take care. God bless. Have a beautiful day. All right, Shirley in Michigan, welcome to the Bright Side. What's up? Hi, Ben. Hey. Uh, I, I tried my best to go back in the archives and listen to the program. Which program? The lady that w- has the probiotic uh, okay. uh, website, and I couldn't understand. Oh, she had an uh, accent. She has, a, she has kind of a strong I accent. I could not understand okay. the pronunciation, so therefore I couldn't even sound it out. And okay. It. So her, name is, her name is Natasha Trenev, and her last name is T-R-E-N-E-V. And her company is Natren. She named it after herself, Natasha Trenev, Natren. And her phone number, if you okay. want to call, is 866-462-4444. Uh, okay. And tell her, you, tell her you spoke to me or you heard about her on the radio on the bright side. Uh, you can also email her at customerservice at natren.com. Okay, thank you okay. so much. All right. God bless. Bye-bye. Take care, Shirley. Bye-bye. Okay, let's go to Eileen in West Virginia. Welcome to the Bright Side. Eileen, what's up? Oh, oh hi, Ben. Um, I have spoken with you, let's see, uh, July 24th. Okay. And um, with congestive heart failure, and, and you said to shoot you an email because there was another part to my question about my painful knees. And um, the trouble is my hubby had to go away um, on this job out of state and has taken the um, the router and everything, so I don't have oh. him. You don't have an email. Yeah, so oh. I haven't been able to get back to you. Is okay, there, why don't you do this, Eileen? Stay on the line, okay? I'm going to take another call. Stay on the line, and when we wind down, I'm going to talk to you off the air, okay? Okay, because I didn't know if there was another address I could write a hand. No, we'll talk mail. off the air. I'm going to give you my phone number off the air. You can call me. Oh, thank you. But stay on the line. Hey, Trevor, Eileen's going to stay on the line. So uh, if you're okay, good. Okay, hang on. Don't go away, Eileen. RC, what's up? Welcome to the bright side. I got about a minute, buddy. Ben, is this me, RC? It's you, RC. Hey, oh. I was been having some back pain, and some a physician friend of mine suggested I try diclofenac sodium. Well, it's a nasty DMSO. drug. It's it's like aspirin, Motrin, Naproxen. It's an anti-inflammatory. Um, diclofenac. It's, it's an oldie, oldie but goodie. Or RC, we're out of time. Can you call back tomorrow, buddy? Sure, Dan. Okay. And look, in, look into Rolfing, too. R-O-L-F-I-N-G, Rolfing. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for listening, friends. Check out my websites, brightsideben.com and pharmacistben.com, also criticalhealthnews.com. You can also purchase any of the Truth Treatment Skin Care products, Skin Health products, Retinol 5% Gel, Omega-6 Healing Cream, or the Vitamin C Rich Truth Serum and Truth Balm at Truth treatments.com truthtreatments.com thanks for listening have an awesome spectacular wonderful day we'll talk to y'all later folks bye for now